in 1908, a force 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb exploded over Siberia. It flattened 80 million trees. And then, nothing. No crater, no spaceship, no answers. But everyone focuses on the trees. They're asking the wrong question. The real question is, what did it do to the people who lived through it? We call it the Tunguska event. But for the indigenous Ivenki people, it was the day the god Ogdi cursed the sky. Their world wasn't empty. It was their home. And they were right there. A man named Semyon Bronikov was thrown 20 feet into the air. He described not just a flash, but a horrible roar and a wall of heat that scorched his skin and boiled the water in his rivers. His reindeer, thousands of them, were instantly vaporized or burned to cinders. This wasn't just an explosion. It was an ecological and cultural apocalypse for them. So why did it take 19 years for a proper scientific expedition to reach the site? The world was convulsed by World War I, then the Russian Revolution. The Tsarist government, and later the Soviets, had zero interest in a mystery in the middle of nowhere. The Evenki's testimony was dismissed as primitive superstition. By the time scientist Leonid Kulik arrived, any evidence was gone. He found nothing. Just a silent graveyard of trees, all pointing away from the epicenter. The most important crime scene on Earth was left cold for two decades. The leading theory is a meteoroid airburst, but without a crater we can't be sure. Was it a comet? A rogue black hole? The truth is, we lost our chance because we ignored the people who saw it first. The Tunguska event isn't just a scientific mystery. It's a story about how easily we overlook human stories in the pursuit of a bigger truth. We searched for a crater, but the real impact was on the lives forever shattered below. What do you think about this side of the story?